one of America's highest rated television host Tucker Carlson has reportedly left Fox News. The network announced Carlson's departure. Fox News said that it and Carlson had agreed to part ways. The network said that his primetime slot will now be hosted by a series of interim hosts until a permanent replacement is found. The brief two-paragraph statement gave no reason for the abrupt decision. Reports citing unnamed people familiar with the situation said that the decision to fire Carlson came from the top including Fox chairman Rupert Murdoch and his son Lachlan. The 53-year-old was not just a popular presenter but also a hugely influential one. His shows frequently set the agenda for conservatives and by extension the Republican Party. According to Nielsen data for the week 27th March to 2nd April, his program made up four of the top 10 rated programs on US cable television. Carlson was Fox News' top-rated host with more than 3 million viewers turning in on an average night. While Carlson often publicly agreed with Donald Trump, whose politics have transformed the Republican Party in recent years, but he would occasionally diverge from the former president's political views as well. It is being reported that Fox News' competitors were quick to capitalize on Carlson's departure. The announcement of Carlson's departure comes just days after Fox News settled a defamation lawsuit from the voting machine company Dominion over the cable network's coverage of the 2020 presidential election. In the lawsuit Dominion argued that its business was harmed by Fox spreading false claims that its machines were rigged against Trump. The case prompted disclosures of text messages that showed Carlson's private views often contrasted with his on-air output. His show which aired in the 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. slot was cited in court documents by Dominion's attorneys in their claim some of its outputs was defamatory. Additionally, Fox News is also facing a lawsuit filed in March by former guest booker Abby Grossberg in which she accused Carlson of quote vile sexist stereotypes. Fox News has found a suit and claimed that it would vigorously defend these claims. Carlson's latest interview with Trump came 2 weeks ago. He also interviewed Twitter CEO Elon Musk during what would become his final week on Fox News. His departure appears to have been sudden and came without the usual farewell that might be expected from a long-serving presenter. On air on Monday morning, a Fox News anchor announced the departure with a tribute that thanked Carlson for his service to the network. Stepping in for the primetime slot that night, another guest briefly remarked on his colleague's departure. Carlson first joined Fox as a contributor in 2009 before becoming a co-host of the Fox and Friends weekend show between 2012 to 2016. He began hosting the Tucker Carlson show in 2016. Before his Fox career began, Carlson also hosted shows on CNN and MSNBC and co-founded the Daily Caller website.